So we are now on work energy processes. We learned from the uh, previous chapter that we can represent a conserved quantity and that is momentum in chapter 5 using bar chart. So knowing energy as another conserved quantity in an isolated system, we can represent then work energy processes using bar chart. Um, your goal too is to be able to show understanding of this equation. Yeah, this is one of the most important part of the chapter. In order to analyze physical situation involving energy and transformation, um, you will be able to use bar chart to represent such processes. Uh, so if we ignore non-conservative forces such as friction, a resistance, or tension, and only conservative forces like gravity, elasticity, or that do work on a system, we arrive at this particular uh, simple and and beautiful uh, relation involving work and energy. So let's use this uh, skater as our example in how uh, work energy are represented using bar chart. So initially, the skater is at this particular height. So that's its initial height and this is going to be its final height. So from here, and then we use the earth as the, including the earth as the system with the skater. Um, why do we have to include earth in the system? Because if we don't include earth, then earth does negative work. So if earth does negative work on this person, then there will be no potential energy since we use earth as our arbitrary frame of reference. And we just take note that we know which one to represent positive and negative. And then we use we use the bar chart so we have the positive y and the negative y. So in this case, we know that the skater at this initial height has a particular type of energy. So that's initial. And we can represent this bars here as the energy. So let's say, uh, given that, given that uh, this work done externally is zero, so let's say this is zero. So that's zero. I'm not gonna use any color to represent such. So we now just have uh, kinetic energy and potential energy, which is gravitational. So the final is the same, kinetic, and then gravitational that is final. And this is the initial, and this is the initial as well, this is the initial, or rather the final. Now, is there initial kinetic energy at this particular point? Is there kinetic energy there? So there is none, so that's zero. Is there potential gravitational energy? Relative to the Earth, as our frame of reference, it has a particular height. So it has a particular height. Therefore, yes, there is potential gravitational energy. So we could shade this. So that is our bar. Now, after some time, this skater will go down this ramp. So eventually, before it hits this, its velocity is its maximum. Therefore, there is velocity. So what happens to the potential energy is was transferred to another form of energy. Okay, so we disregard uh, other external work done by friction. So let's say there's no friction in here. We know that the transformation would be equal. So it will be just transferred. Is there potential energy here? No, there is new type of energy, which is the energy in motion. And in this case, the kinetic energy, since it is also in the positive direction. And then we have that bar chart. So it's kind of like pretty simple in terms of 
using the bar chart and you already have a prior knowledge of drawing this just pretty important guys make sure you label your bars you label your arbitrary frame of reference so positive we uh, use that for y going up and the negative y going down and if we have horizontal so we could use this vertical uh, bar graph so that's what we're gonna use so let's look if we got that right so if we're going to set the object in motion and we ignore any negative work done by friction or a resistance and if you look at the bar chart you would see as the object changes its displacement relative to the earth its potential energy is at the highest you probably will see here there's this total so that's just the total energy uh, in a form of mechanical energy so you might see that in some book as TME as total mechanical energy it's just the total energy that was converted initially so now if you look at all the way from the bottom you will see that the kinetic energy goes up as well but then the total energy of the system remained the same and then the process goes on now what happens if we add friction into the system so if we add friction and let's say the object goes up here you will see that there is now another form of internal energy in a form of heat which does negative work on our system so let's practice with this so let's uh represent this in terms of a work energy bar chart so we have the bar chart here so a ball falls from the top of a pillar to the ground so initial state is here we include the earth as part of our system so we could get the gravitational potential energy in here so we have the gravitational potential energy so let's take a look at this particular problem in here so a ball falls from the top of a pillar to the ground so this is our initial state so given the earth as our reference frame so it therefore possess a gravitational potential energy so that is its initial um, and then we will have the kinetic energy as the final before it hits the ground so using the formula for work energy so we have work that's initial and then that is final energy so what are the f energy in here so we'll have kinetic and gravitational potential initial and then the work done is there work done on the system so we have final kinetic and then final gravitational potential energy is there kinetic energy here at this particular initial state so we only have gravitational potential energy therefore we will just use that so there is none here so we will just shade this is there work done by the system um, no there is no work done externally on the system because we included earth and therefore it will change into the work energy system it will change into kinetic energy there is no gravitational final so we have this all right now give yourself a practice on this so a car skids from a high speed to a stop with its brakes applied the initial state is the car traveling at a high speed and the final state is at rest force of friction does work so here we will include work on the system so give yourself a few seconds to analyze the situation so with this we have kinetic energy so there is kinetic energy initially and then the object comes to a stop so relative to the earth there is potential gravitational energy so that's the final there is no initial so is there work done 
there is work done by and there's a negative work done by friction so friction does work negatively in here so we're going to draw the bars let's see you probably got it right so kinetic energy here and then there is work on a negative and so we will is there potential initially no zero yep we have work here so so not to scale but the magnitude of this bar should be equal to this therefore our sum of the energy final would be zero so the object come to a stop okay another example for work energy bar chart so give yourself some time again to analyze this problem all right so let's look at this so the skier starts from rest on top of a hill a and skis into the valley and back up to this hill b skier utilizes her pole to prepare herself across so she did work she did a little bit of work so in this case is there kinetic energy at point a there is none is there gravitational potential energy there is but she did a little bit of work so we're going to have that around here and then it did work a little bit so maybe right here now what will be the final so it has gravitational potential energy here it also has that kinetic energy right so kinetic energy would be a little bit here and then what would be let's look at the potential energy so the sum of this the sum of this equal to the sum of this that's our energy bar chart so um, use the practice uh, worksheet for this that's it